Hello again, it's Eric and we're going to look at uh, add programs and add loop. Add program is actually like nesting when you want to nest a list in another list inside another list and list and list. So you can nest, nest, next and next. This is really great. You can create a whole lot of serious programming by using add program. So what I'm saying is we can put all of this that we've done into a program and put it here as one list, one file, and it's going to play everything inside it. So let's just take a look at how we can do that. So what we can do is to just click on it and you're going to give it a name. So we want to say uh, commercial. So I want to call this commercial. So like before we start our program, I want to go for a commercial break. So I do my commercial. And inside the commercial if you double click it it opens another uh, list for you so now you can do whatever you did you can even add another program inside another program so what we do is uh, we can now add stuff let's say I just add random stuff so you can know what's going I just add random stuff just nothing I can go back and now what it is is that if you ever you go inside it's got a different list you can actually load a previous list that you've done I can actually load uh, something else in here it uh, a saved project whatever you can you can load anything you can also add media do whatever you want to do inside here so let's say we can we can set the road uh, and then we want to set the, to a little bit of just trim it up so we, let's say we have the milk and then the road in this commercial so that's our commercial we don't really have commercial so we don't want to play milk again here milk and road is going to go off because they are in commercial and after commercial we want to play music and we want to play our shop video actually we want to play shop video so that's it so when you start it it's going to go into that program play whatever is in there and then come back to play the shop and then this was so let's just see if it really works uh, so I just start it and then retime it and see it's gonna go inside this and start playing the milk so you can see that if we dive inside now you can see what is going on it's playing milk now and then it will come back down to play that one so it finishes and comes to play the shop exactly what we want it Alright, so that's so cool. So that's how you deal with it. So it finished playing this one and it came back to play this one. So what it means is that we can always duplicate the program, the commercial, and then let it play again. In fact, after the shop, we want to play commercial again. You can duplicate it and you can change the name of the duplicate if you want, but it doesn't matter. So what we what is, is that if we start all over again, um, wait a second. Alright, so it's always a good idea to add a cut at the beginning, yeah. I said it before. It's always a good idea to add a cut at the beginning and the end. It's very, very important. Yeah, so we're going to go into that one and also put the cut at the beginning and the end. It's always good to do that, so. Alright, it makes sure that it gets that breathing space to start. So you can see that it's doing that again. If you go into this one, it's going to play that commercial again. When it gets there, yeah. it's, when it gets here, it's gonna play the milk and stuff again. I see, it's gonna play the milk again. There you go. So it's playing milk and it's gonna play the road video again before it comes to music. So let's save this project as test. I have a test over there, I'll overwrite it. So test. So once we save it as test, this is what we get. If you go, let's go into the folders I just tried to load something if you go in you can down now you have a folder called test and in the folder you can see you have test commercial and top test commercial duplicate these refers to these ones that we created here so that means it have it's it's a good way to it saves it for you automatically so you can you can manually open any of them like that so you know that's really cool right you can actually open it like that and then that's really cool so when you whenever you do add program it always saves it for you 
so one thing you have to bear in mind is that before you add program for instance if, it, if it's a fresh project and those this project has never been saved you, you can't just add program it's going to tell you the project has never been saved so you need to save before so you want to make sure that your project has been saved before uh, any other thing but before you do that you need to add any any other thing or you can add any transition save it before you can add program so that's how you could do so so why is that all the commands that we did we can do just commands and put them only in a, a program organize our, our stuff really 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 nice in a nice way so if we if we if we come here what we did before with the commands we can put all the commands in one uh, program and then name them and then we can reuse it along the line so that's how add program works we're gonna look at the add loop and that loop is really fantastic okay you wanna this is how it works you can loop you wanna put a loop let's just add one for now and well the sentence that it brings up is it asks you for two things the from row is actually where you want to loop from so the rows have numbers from zero to wherever so if you want to start the loop from one you just want to put in one if you want to start the loop from zero or three you want to put in three but let's say we want to start from zero so it should loop from zero how many times is the count how many times do you want to loop we want to loop for three times for now and you say done so it creates a script for us say loop from row zero for three times this is really underst understandable you can, if you read this what is this is what it's gonna do it's gonna loop from row zero for three times to where this uh, loop command has been put in so in this case that we're looking at it from row zero is here so that means if we start now it's gonna just loop just cut 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 for three times because whenever it gets to the loop command it will take the script here and do it so it, it will never get past the loop command until the number of times is set is down to zero so you want to put your loop command below whatever clip you want to loop so if i put it below road and milk it means it's gonna loop from zero you're gonna play road and milk and get back to the zero play road the milk get back three times before it will get past this command and come to shop that's how the loop works so let's just see it in action so i'll start it and retime it so this is what we want uh, we'll start from here place the road that's what it's doing okay. and take a critical look at the fourth four three times it's not playing milk and when it gets to the loop it will quickly go back to row zero that's it and starts again and say now it's from row zero for two times that means it's done one already and that's how the loop works so if each time it gets here it jumps back to the row that we put and then it will do it for the number of times we put here before it goes to the next one so let's see it again it goes there for one time so it's that with one we do it one more time and our loop is done so let's see it again for the last time I'm just gonna do that it's not playing in this one so it's gonna go for the last time you say row zero for zero time so that means when it gets here it's not gonna go up again it's gonna continue down let's see that in action I hate waiting but it's good to wait because you have to you have to wait you've got no option because you want to know right so there we go our loop is done so it continues the shadow so that's the you can use the loop in so many fantastic ways so you can just set it from from row two or whatever but you just want to make sure that the loop is below wherever you want to start from that's it for now the series of tutorials about uh, this should really get you started everything you need to know about the task you should get started 
put all these combination of stuff together and you good to go all right so one thing i never touched on was this hit retime and then all that this from selection is actually when you want to retime and from selection is checked is going to retime from wherever is selected so it's going to retime from here that's it so that's what it works that's how it works so if you want to retime from here so from selected it's going to retime from here as well so you can also uncheck and check if you still uncheck this is going to skip it when it gets there it's not going to play yet and you can uncheck anything if you don't want to play it it's going to make it skip if you want to activate it check it again it's going to make it ready and then you can also double click anywhere like i showed you in the earlier tutorials it's the same as from selection so if you don't want to use from selection you can actually double click on the playhead and it's going to do the same thing it's going to skip wherever is above it and then do the rest so that's just about it i uh, hope to see you in the next tutorial again because i'm going to take it on by doing special things that i'm going to do a series of how to do so let your request come in and spin eric and thank you for taking time to listen to me because i've got a very sweet voice the girls love it and everybody loves my voice. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.